Another book review for you. This uh, one of the textbooks that um, I regard one of the staples of my um, library. If you want to call it that, I actually got rid of like 60 books a long time ago. It's not like I read every single one of them, but um, uh, I have a lot of books. I like books. I'm kind of a book hoarder. Again, the joke was um, um, among myself and a, a graduate student years ago, we'd go down to the library when we we're getting our doctorate degrees and you go down with one and you leave with five. I mean, it was such a great library. Uh, you know, I love reading more, a lot of the books are redundant, but that's okay. You learn little nuggets in some of them that you didn't see in others. Um, and by the way, if you like books, I wrote one too. Check it out in the description the video description below. Second edition just released. Um, shameless plug. By the way, if you get the ebook copy and you don't like the tables are not presenting correctly, um, let me know. Um, you can message me through YouTube or um, go through my Instagram page, which also is listed in the video below, video link below, and I will happily send you um, pictures of the tables that are messed up. Um, if you buy the print version, it looks good, but um, sometimes when you have those uh, Kindle books, ebooks, they um, they don't present really well. Anyway, on to this book. This book is. Um, again, one of those foundational books, and it's a textbook, but if you're interested in how the human body moves, um, it's called Kinesiology of the Musculoskeletal System by Neiman, or Nyman perhaps. There's The version that I have is from 2009. I haven't read the new one, okay? You can get the used version of it for 13 bucks. Um, I would imagine there's been some pretty n nice upgrades in the new one, but uh, a knee is still a knee, right? And an elbow is still an elbow. So if you want to buy the, the version that I have, the 13 and there's, um, there'll be a link in the description below of the older version <clears throat> and the newer version. Um, I would highly recommend it. Now, why is this book? If you're, if you're a, a personal trainer, a coach, um, again, or you're just interested in, um, um, how the human body works and yet again, it's a textbook, but it has some tremendous pictures. Uh, you know, I always joke when you're a kid, right? you know, your kids, oh, is it a picture book? Right. And, Cause those are my favorite, right? I like pictures, especially when it comes to the human body. It's really hard to present how the human body moves in a book without fantastic pictures. Well, um, one of the one of the strengths of this book is it not it's not just cartoons pictures of the joints. It's there are occasionally some cadaver pictures, but it's more so there are some really cool vectors drawn on the joint. So not only do you understand how the what the joint looks like, but you have an understanding of how the joint moves. There's also some fantastic comparisons to um, you know things that would be from basic machinery or um, mechanical devices, you know, levers and things like that, um, that are made to the joint. So in other words, there's a lot of fantastic, um, visual tools to understand how a shoulder works, quote unquote. Um, there's some fantastic representations of some of these vectors, which are just arrows basically, but you know, this, the, the aerial size matters, the way they're drawn, the pictures are very well, um, well done, excuse me. Um, that you understand how the muscles are pulling and interacting with the joint how the joint should glide or slide or both or not, you know, whatever, whatever the, whatever the proper movement of the joint is, this book presents, it goes joint by joint. Um, again, very in depth, but also, um, if you just look through the book without reading all the text, which I recommend, of course, but you just looked at the pictures and, and studied the pictures, uh, and what the pictures are showing you, um, because they're so well done, um, you would get a good idea of how the joint is supposed to move. Okay. And so if you're dealing with people or yourself that have joint limitation and mobility issues, and you wonder what muscles might be interacting on that joint that may be causing the pro quote unquote problem. And usually the problem is again, my unfavorite word. Um, that's a great word too, of the decade nuance. But if, if you understand what's going on, you know, uh, that there are differences between what could be going on with the joint, you can at least get a list of things that maybe you should address in order to figure out what might be going on with the joint. Now, again, if you're professional, again, if you're self diagnosing, be very careful um, you know, use the appropriate tools, meaning there's some great assessments out there from the physical therapy world. Don't diagnose anybody, right? Understand where your scope ends and the need for a professional like a PT or a, um, a qualified chiropractor or, um, you know, even an, an orthopedic surgeon. Um, I would go to the other two first because uh, I don't like orthopedic surgeons, but you usually can remedy a lot of their problems unless they're catastrophic with um, a very good movement specialist like a PT or chiropractor. Uh, but anyway, um, this is a great book for you to start with, though, to to at least understand the underlying mechanisms of potentially some of these problems that you are going through or others could be going through if you're a trainer. I would say this is a this is a book that it's a graduate level book. OK, um, it's been you. I have it because I took it. I used it in a graduate class, if I recall. Uh, did I? I don't remember. But it, it is a graduate. I would say a graduate level book. But that doesn't mean if you're if you're new to anatomy, um, 
it, you still will glean a lot from it and not feel overwhelmed. All right. So if you, if you know a little bit of anatomy, uh, this, this is a book that will, uh, I think, add to, which is what a lot of what graduate school is, add to your understanding of anatomy. Um, if you're taking a basic anatomy class in biology or something where you covered um, all, all the systems, um, this will take you much, much deeper in terms of the, um, you know, movement anatomy. Um, and, and again, if you've never done any anatomy, this is a great book to start. You just might have a little bit more of a headwind as you get going. Um, but the pictures alone are worth the price of this book, which is thirteen dollars. The new one's like one hundred twenty. So I'm I'm referring to the one hundred twenty dollar price, but you can you can get the old version for thirteen bucks. All right. So I'll go over some of my um, textbook staples. I went over one exercise physiology book a while back in one of my book reviews. Um, one of my favorite phys books, a uh, graduate ish level book, um, because of the pictures. Again, um, I think uh, in movement science, pictures are. Ex extraordinarily valuable. When I teach students, you know, I select books based on the pictures. I know that sounds terrible. No, it doesn't sound terrible at all. I know it sounds maybe strange, but I'm the picture will make a more profound impression on how a system works than just the text. The text supplement the pictures, in my opinion, in some things. Some things it doesn't. Like if you're learning about, um, and well, I almost said world history, but that's not true too. If you have some pictures of world history, that can be helpful. But, um, you know, obviously in, in literature or something, that might be, you know, the text might be a little more powerful than pictures. Um, but when it comes to movement science, I think finding, and this goes for anything, this is my advice to any of you that are out there that are trying to learn uh, anatomy and even physiology is find a good picture book. And there's a lot of fantastic te textbooks with fantastic pictures. Um, even if you're more of a, you can learn from a textbook, the text itself a little better than, than me probably. I like, again, I'm more of a visual learner. So I try in a kinesthetic learner. That's why I like this kind of um, these textbooks. But even then the pictures will at least supplement maybe your strong uh, ability to glean information from text only. All right, I'll stop topping it, talking in circles. I just wanted to recommend this book real quick. Um, if you're looking for a good kinesiology book, a good anatomy, movement anatomy book, um, and you want to understand the bodies, you know, how the joints move, uh, you know, and what's a, what, th what factors are um, pulling on or moving the joint in certain directions, or, you know, we talked about joint centration for many, I haven't heard that as much, but it's still around you know, why a joint isn't centered on the, in the socket and so on and so forth. Uh, the humeral head, for example, is not centered on the glenoid fossa of the shoulder. You know, what are the forces that are involved with that? And then maybe how can we take that information of understanding how those structures are, um, you know, arranged around the shoulder and think about why there's a shoulder problem that's manifest. What muscles could you target? Why would you want to target them? Which way are they trying to pull on the, the shoulder? And then how might you devise a program or select exercises accordingly. And of course, there's great programs out there. Some of you may have great programs, but you understand why they're effective in manipulating the anatomy. This book could fill in that gap for you. And it's always important, I think, to know the why. That way you can make adjustments. All right. All right. That's all for now. I said all right twice. That must mean it's really time. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, hopefully this didn't discourage you if this was a terrible video. I don't know. If you found this video helpful, like it. Um, be sure to check out my other book reviews. Um, uh, books, uh, pro um, that are go over training and, and um, all that good stuff. Um, all that good stuff. Yeah, all that, all that good stuff. I'm currently reading through this book, which I will review soon, the Glenn Penlay Method. Glenn Penlay had a profound effect on my own weightlifting coaching. Never met Coach Penlay um, personally, but I, I, as the author of this book points out, um, uh, you know, it feels like you had because he watched so many videos of him. So look for that book review coming up um, as well as some others, again, pulling off my, I guess I'll call it the legacy collection uh, that I have on my shelf. Um, to journal clubs, rants, check out my, and I'll see you in the next video.